there is a saying in our country that the demand for doctors will never go down because people will never stop falling sick, right? Well, that is applicable to the entire biology segment itself, but in particular microbiology. The demand for microbiologists from the industry will never go down, of course in research also, because the microorganisms are getting stronger day by day because of environmental change, climate change, uh, pollutants and whatnot. They are adapting and so is the need of microbiologists of today to adapt to the future demands. Then only you are going to shine. The way microorganisms are adapting, even you should adapt as a microbiologist. So today I have brought to you the future career scope of microbiologist. I am also going to talk about the companies which hire, the skills which you require, the future directions which you can take and what is going to be the demand of the industry in the future as well as currently. So let's dive into this video with the first task for the day. What do you think is the future of our microbiologists? Let me know in the comment section. Now in the meanwhile, let me unveil the real picture in front of you. So a microbiologist is a person who will study all the types of microbiota, viruses, bacteria, any kind of uh, alga, algae, protozoa, uh, fungi, all of this, right? But the real need of microbiologists come in the commercial aspect, in the commercial environment where a product is made but because of microbiological contamination, it could not survive. A product is uh, supposed to last this long but it could not. A product is supposed to be created using yeast and fungi and uh, what mix is required so that it is created. All of this. So whether it is food industry, whether it is pharmaceutical industry, whether it is biotech industry, whether it is environment, environment and uh, even the government, everywhere you are, you are in need and your demand is going to jump up. So let's look at the first aspect, the current job market and your strength which is there. So right now we have industry jobs. So what are the industry jobs you have? You have jobs in pharmaceuticals, pharma uh, companies, QAQC also you can get in. You have uh, biotechnology industry. Then you have food and uh, beverages industry and of course healthcare, uh, diagnostic industry and then government agencies also you, you can get jobs. So these are the industrial jobs which you have. Now coming to the academia side where you can become an assistant professor, professor, researcher, instructor in academic institutions and various other roles you can play in an academic institution. Then third comes the research institutes. Now research institutes are publicly funded institutes such as CSIR labs and all that. So there are many research institutes out there, right? more than 300 and all these have temporary projects as well as permanent projects and in fact you can become a professional investigator in the future and you can do research on microbiology. So using the publicly funded uh, money, right? So these are the three aspects you have right now and this is going to continue. It is not that okay suddenly the government will stop the private or the pu public uh, funding it will always be there okay but now the question is what can be the possible career path for you as a microbiologist in the future now there are three things which i can foresee from here so you know how how do we predict trend is uh, we look at the past developments combine that with the recent research papers and the environmental regulations and the regulations which the government is coming up with and then extrapolate this graph to come up with a conclusion, right? So I foresee three uh, fields which where the demand will shoot up, okay? The first is medical microbiology. Now working in a healthcare setup, diagnostic setup to prevent and treat infectious diseases is very important. Now you see reliable microbiologists in our country, there's a huge demand because there are a lot of microbiologists who are not highly skilled and that leads to a lot of uh, wrong outcomes, wrong tests which will come and then the doctor will give the wrong medicine, right? So if the right microbiologist is there with the right skill, the right uh, results will come for the patient. So medical microbiology is going to go up because the number of patients in our country and the world is increasing. The second which I foresee is environmental microbiology. So researching microorganisms in the environment and the effects of pollutants, okay, effects of uh, all these uh, climate change on our microbes is going to be there. So that is the second part. Environmental microbiology is going to explode, the demand is going to explode and more of the government jobs will lie in the environmental microbiology side. Okay. The third is the industrial microbiology. It is going to go up because the uh, demand 
whether it is pharmaceutical, biotechnology, or food tech. So all these three, you your demand will grow, especially in the food products, because humans need food every now and then. Like after this video, probably I'm going to eat, right? So everybody needs food every now and then. So creating sustainable food which does not decay or decompose or needs um, the right mix of preservatives so that it doesn't does not get contaminated by microorganisms. All of this is a matter of study, research, and testing right so that is where you will be needed so these are the three fields where i see your growth definitely which is industrial microbiology medical microbiology as well as environmental microbiology let's look at the research opportunities uh, which you might might get in this field the first will be applied research now what is applied research investigating and creating solutions to problems related to food medicine and environment now what exactly I mean by this statement? Food, obviously, it will decay. You have to find out a problem, how to solve this. Then you have pharmaceuticals, medicine, how to make sure that it lasts longer. Okay, So, of course, there has been a lot of research done. For example, syrup. So, okay, uh, you don't want it to decay, so you make a syrup out of it. But then diabetic patients cannot take that syrup. So, you have to find a way, how can you deliver a medicine without making it a syrup right for the diabetic patient and without injecting them so yeah so storage of medicine is going to be a problem storage of food is going to be a problem and same with the environment so applying your research into these environments is going to be a aspect of the future where you have you will be involved the second will be very basic research which you are going to do like enhancing our understanding of the various microorganisms and their process like how a fungi works how a, a microbe grows in a particular medium this is basic research which you will be learning and studying. The third will be genetic research. So, studying the genomic information using computers and computational biology of microorganisms to enhance our knowledge of microbiology. So, of course, you, you, you use computer and genomics to study the microorganisms. So, these are the three research areas, three fields where, where you can grow and, uh, you know, but I will suggest applied uh, research is the best for you because that way you can get in easily into industry as well as academia as well as uh, you know, biotech and pharma industry also. So, the applied research is my first priority. Now, let's look at the potential sectors where you can get the employment. Like I have said, food and beverage. So, you have uh, companies like Hindustan Unilever, you have Coca-Cola and uh, PepsiCo and uh, all these FMCG companies, ITC. They all need you big time. Any, uh, in fact, uh, you have a wanderla in uh, Bangalore, right? Even they have microbiologists because the pH of the water changes, people will get full irritation and the, on their skin, right? So they also need a microbiologist, right? So pharmaceutical industry, food and beverage, biotechnology industry, environmental production agencies, even they will need. So to minimize the impact of pollution, of course, you are needed. To reduce the impact of pathogenic bacteria and follow proper quality and safety standards, you are needed. If you are not there, these beverage and food industry people will lose crores of money altogether if you, your profession doesn't exist. So you can just imagine your importance. In the biotechnology industry, of course, you're going to work on, on developing and testing new products, including vaccines, biologic drugs, chemicals, and diagnostic tests and kits. So these are th things you will do in the biotechnology industry. In the pharmaceutical industry, you're going to work on development of uh, drugs to control and eradicate infectious diseases. Of course, you're also going to work on making sure that the environment is sterile where the particular uh, drug is being packed or manufactured. So all that as a microbiologist, your role is going to be there. To summarize it, you are invincible and irreplaceable if you have the right skills. Okay, so let's look at the skill set which you will require skills and qualification required for success in this field. First is obviously you need a bachelor's and a master's more than master's you don't require. But if you really want to get into research, then only do PhD. Otherwise, don't do PhD. And if you want to do PhD, please go for CSINet. No other uh, option is there. So excellent analytical and problem solving skill. That's one skill you have to have because you're going to look at the data and you're going to collate and analyze. Okay, what exactly is the problem here. So problem solving skill and analytical skills is required. The next what you will require is a knowledge of laboratory techniques and safety measures because obviously if you don't have that then you cannot maintain the environment sterile and that will lead to contamination and that means obviously the experiments will fail. Third will be excellent communication and collaboration skills. You see you know how to prevent it but you're not able to communicate that. Even if, if you have analyzed the data you have a 
a conclusion, but you don't know how to uh, communicate that. So, of course, communication skills required. The second is collaboration skills that, okay, if this is happening, so which team I should contact, which uh, scientist I should contact so that I can collaborate with that person and avoid this from happening. So, collaboration skills is required. Then, analyzing data and interpreting results. Data interpretation is a must in any industry, especially biological sciences industry, biostatistics, mathematics, okay, understanding of graphs, understanding of plotting graphs and, and presenting the graphs, interpreting the graphs, very important. You have to know this, okay. Of course, advanced degree in microbiology, which you have a lot of colleges uh, like Amity, uh, SRM, uh, then you have Nirma University, Yenapoya, uh, then you have um, Bangalore University, you have so many colleges in Bangalore you can go for. So these are the colleges where you can get the advanced degree. Now that you have the degree and the skill set, the point which I want to make is challenges which you'll face. It's not so easy, okay? So if somebody just gets a degree and you're going to get a job. No, competition for jobs in this field is increasing day by day. That's something you have to keep in mind, okay? And second thing is nobody wants to take the freshers, okay? The third thing is because of the carelessness of people and of course microbiologists uh, also, antibiotic re resistance among the microorganisms is increasing. So even though you, you think that, okay, I'll apply antibiotic and it'll work. So AMR is there. So that is why you have to be very careful. And the fourth will be effective communication skills of complex scientific terms and information. People are finding it very difficult to uh, convey. So these are the, this will be the challenges as a microbiologist for you also. Jobs are less and the number of people are more. So you have to either be a job creator or be outstanding with your skills to get a job. So at Biotechnica, we have solved this problem. We now provide placement assistance as well as interview guarantee under our Crick Star scholarship. The link is given in the description. It is crickstar.biotechnica.org. So under this Crick Star scholarship and award program, we are providing you placement assistance and interview guarantee. Apart from that, we are providing you internships, stipend, as well as a lot of other features. Please check the link in the description. You'll get all the ideas how to get placed in the microbiology industry. Now, let's jump on to the next aspect and that is what will be the future outlook. So, you already have a lot of companies and a lot of new startups are coming up every day. And uh, especially now you have this plant-based meat also. So, you are going to be in demand in the future forever. All you have to do is get the skills uh, figured out okay so once you have the skills figured out and of course we have a lot of hands-on training at biotechnica which you can go for which will help you so now coming to the which institutions and uh, companies can hire you let's look at those we can broadly categor categorize the companies into these ways we can say that okay you want to get into academia then higher education institutions you can become a professor and assistant professor then you have industry then you have biotech and pharma industry then you have environmental agencies then you have public health organizations, then you have healthcare organizations, then you have forensic science labs and organizations, then you have publicly funded research organizations. So you can broadly divide these are the organizations where you can get job. But now the list of top companies in India where you can get a job as a microbiologist. That's something which I will tell you now. So the first we, which we have is Novozymes, which is obviously a great company to work for. Then we have Britannia, Bislery. GSK, Johnson & Johnson, Dr. Reddy's, TUV, SUD, Jubilant, Sanofi, Sun Pharma, Lupin, Apollo. Then we have MQR Pharmaceuticals, Sipla, Sami Labs, Cafe Coffee Day, IFF, Suguna Foods. Then you have Apotex and Mondelez. Now, list of top government institutes where you can get projects and temporary as well as permanent job will be FSSAI, National Health Mission, DRDO, NCDC, IRCTC, HPCL Biofuels, T-Board, National Tuberculosis Institute, KIIDC, CSIR, CSM, CRI, IPFT, ICMR, RMARC, PAU, then JALMA. Now, as a microbiologist, what is the salary you can get? So, you can get a sa starting salary of somewhere around 3 to 5 lakh per annum and it goes up to 25 lakh per annum currently. In future, definitely it will uh, go up, but depends on your expertise, experience, skill set and the company where you are working. So, these are the four and of course the location. So, 
five things which you have to keep in mind. Now, many students ask me, can I go abroad as a microbiologist? Yes, you can. That is something which you should know. So, you'll gain the experience and expertise here, gain the relevant uh, uh, at least 10 years of experience in India, then apply for foreign companies, same sector, same segment, foreign companies. And then you see you can even get a green card also in US and of course, uh, uh, citizenship in other countries also. So, a microbiologist will be in demand forever in every country. And I can give this with a guarantee, okay? A guarantee of maybe a crore rupees, I can tell you that the demand of microbiologists is never going to go down. Obviously, the newer skill set will come, newer techniques will come to diagnose, but you will always be in demand. So keep learning and of course, crack the jackpot with Crickstar scholarship so that you can get your first job into the industry. And after that, there'll be no looking back because there will be huge demand for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, comments or any other video would, you would like to see or you know hear from me, then let me know in the comment section. And of course, you can write to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.